he said, Yeshua said that the churches, but he said that the churches and their riches would be demolished. Now you can find that within Luke. This is chapter 21, verses 5 through 6. Yeshua said that the churches and their riches would be demolished. And that all real and practicing believers of all nations, of all backgrounds, skin colors, genders, everything, all nations, all peoples, all practicing believers in the God force who had the mark of God in their foreheads, which is the open third eye, which is direct communication with God, with it, which is a direct conduit for the God force through each individual's life, they would survive the last day. Do you have the mark? Yeshua, Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, Lao Tzu left the question about the second coming of the grand energetic second coming of Christ consciousness. And nevertheless, though, when the Son of Man comes, when your divine spark awakens, shall he find faith on earth? What do you think? Is there faith on the earth today with organized religion, fundamentalist Christians calling the very sophisticated concept of Wahe Guru a demon? When we have Hindus in India right now, Hindu extremists attacking Christians, anybody they see with a Bible and beating them, you, no, this is this antichrist current is throughout the world, but so is the Christ current, the Christ consciousness to all practicing believers with the mark, direct communication to God. You have had 2,000 years to test his teachings, Yeshua's teachings, and find out if they are true. And yet we are still here. Why are we still trapped within this matrix, this third dimension drama? Why are we still calling other people's sincere heartfelt ideas of God a demon? Why are Hindu extremists attacking Christians in their country? Why? Why? We have had 2,000 years to test the teachings, but we're still here. The Bible is not just a book of nice stories. This is why. This is why, because people read stories and they tell stories, but they do not live the stories. These are examples. The Bible is not a book of not just a book of nice stories. It contains the Old Covenant and the New Covenant, the contract, the testament, and is a map for your spiritual journey of self-perfection. You have to become Abraham to begin the journey. And then you become Isaac, Jacob, Israel, Joseph, Moses, all the prophets, and then finally you become Yeshua. You become Jesus, the son of Zeus. You become Lao Tzu, the son of Tzu, but you must take the journey and stop attacking other people's own journey because each person has their own individual journey on this walk towards perfect, perfection and ascension unto the fifth dimension, new earth, golden age timeline. I hope you make the journey today. Namaste. Namaskaram.